All right. Time for me to shut up and let Drew talk. All right, Drew, Gad, Gaz, Dag, Victor. There we go. Um, another non-question here. Just a demand. Oversi <laughs> oversized and jumbo pens. So again, we can kind of go anywhere we want with this. So thank you for the freedom, Gaz, Dag, Victor. Um, like worst ones, so best ones. I don't know. I don't know what they're. We're looking gonna for. go with worst, worst ones being. The, so we're gonna just name a bunch of small pens being the worst that's, oversized. That's pens. how I interpret it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, no, uh, I'm gonna pick three that I like and think they're worth mentioning, and then I'm gonna pass it over to uh, the big homie Brian Goulet, and he's gonna name three. The, um, the big homie. You know what? That's something that they say on an MMA podcast that I listen that, to. That's the f yeah. It's the first time I just, think I've ever been called the big homie in they my just, life. They, they just uh, in, any any fighter that they just kind of like. They're like, you know, hey, hey, the big homie. You know, whomever. I don't know. Okay. It's endearing though. It's, okay. an, it's endearing. You don't have to be a large human to be a big homie. I mean, I am, and I'm at home, so <laughs> very, it's a very contextual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, before I pass it on to the big homie, we're going to talk about the <laughs> Mayora Me. Though, and uh, this is a pen that is large, has a nice big grip section as well. Because some pens are large, but the grip section isn't like comparably large, I guess. But this one definitely is. Um, it's not super heavy, it is a resin pen. Uh, but I think that the uh, weight comes from how much trim there is on this pen. It's a beautiful pen, and honestly, my favorite pen from either Mayora or Natuno, the black one specifically, has. Um, what I like. So there's a white one, a black and orange one, and then an all black one. However, the all black one um, does have a little bit of orange resin between two other pieces of trim. This pen I love because of the trim. This is pen, this pen is all about the trim. It's got a great Yovo nib, but the trim. I see this pen and I see how much work went into it because there, it's segmented so many times. I see like, all right, that is a lot of extra work that they had to do to put this thing together with as many trim options as it has. And the primary trim option is the center band of this pen. And it is a gorgeous, like, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know what the uh, the pattern specifically is called, but you've got that as the, this ornate center band. And then that is bordered by these two pieces of resin, um, orange or black, depending on which color you're looking at. And then there's more trim, and then there's trim on the uh, uh, the um, the blind cap, and then there's trim on the top of the pen as well. It's just it's trimmed out really, really nice, very tasteful. And the black one specifically, I like because it's got that hint of color, that little pop of orange um, that uh, this brand is kind of known for. Uh, but it's not you know in your face. It still maintains a really classy look to it so mayora mitho check it out there's also the mitho k which is the um, more expensive version um with a little bit a little bit more going on there um but uh the, the mitho is also just as just as beautiful oh, it's called the, the mithok the mitho k the mithok yes yeah. um and then next up i want to talk about the yukari royale Ooh. by namiki um so this is a big pen it's not as big as the emperor the namiki emperor is the biggest pen that we sell yeah, i mean that's um, that's such an obvious one to do it is yeah and we we could have talked about that but really like i don't think that anybody who sees this video is oh yeah you know what i've got ten thousand dollars just burning a hole in my pocket let me do this because drew well, said it was you can get large. The, you can get the just the usury version for two thousand dollars you know it's a, it's a bargain that's that's true it's a bargain <laughs> the, at 2k the, the, plain, um, the, plain the, the yukari royale is still a big honking pen yeah. Um, however, and then they do have a lot of Makie versions. So most of these Namikis that are in this price range have a ton of Makie and Yurushi work to them that drives their price way, way up. However, there are a, there is a black and a vermilion version of the Yukari Royale, which is just a flat color. That red, though, the vermilion, has that, it's that type of vermilion that you only get when it's a lacquered red. Now, black's, black's black, you know, but this particular red it's like this special kind of red that's only yurushi red you know what i mean brian uh, i know what you mean yes it's like there's something special about it so i say vermilion wins 100 percent. and so this is going to be with alongside the black version the more affordable yukari royale it's still pricey but um it's a yeah, big pen definitely. but in in the hand it has this warmth that that you know you can really only get with a pen that has these layers of lacquer um, it's a gorgeous pen, and it's actually insanely popular as well. So you're probably gonna have a hard time get, getting your hands <laughs> I on one. Say, I can't remember the last um, time we had one in stock. It's crazy. No, no, it's it's. Uh, but but I you know I do have to mention it because I think it is. Um, it's my favorite large pen. I think I don't have one. 
probably won't ever, but um, <laughs> it is also surprisingly lightweight. Um, and then finally, um, one pen that I do have proudly is the Diplomat Arrow. So unlike the Namiki, is not a lightweight pen. It's um, it's as heavy as it looks, I'd say. So there are two different, well, I guess not two different versions. There's probably more than two, but there's it's aluminum. It's a uh, metal pen, and it is a an anodized aluminum. So the colors have that cool anodized look. It's got a beautiful German-made nib and writes fantastically. Caps amazingly well. The machining on the threads is super satisfying. No, sorry, the machining on the threads is good when you actually, you know, close the body to the grip section that's really nice as well but it also caps really well it's a snap cap though it has this wonderful pressure that ends with a just gorgeous little pop and it seals really well as well there is a stainless steel version um and is there a stainless steel version and the flame or is it just that one i think it might be just the flame the, we the, might have had a stainless steel version at some point the, but the flame i don't think is stainless steel because i don't think stainless steel will flame like that i think it's steel. what does that it's it's steel. It's non steel. Oh, just steel. like okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. Because that this, thing is yeah. that thing is heavy. That thing I, that's too heavy for yeah, me personally. It's, I mean, the, yeah, the irregular one's aluminum. That one is. I don't. Yeah, remember, I think the aluminum is exactly just heavy, heavy enough. Is, it's, yeah, the 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 flame one looks awesome, but for me personally, I've got smaller hands. That's just too much for me. Um, uh, but the pen is beautiful and it is a big pen. The grip section isn't as big. So if you're looking for a big pen with a big grip section. It's got more of an average grip section, um, but it is a metal grip section that feels good and it's not slippery. And so I'll give it points for that. A lot of times, you know, folks are concerned about metal grip sections being slippery. The Aero, not slippery at all. No, it's a good, good textured metal on that. But if you want like a big pen, just kind of in the hand, it's perfect. I think that's a phenomenal pen and it's incredibly popular. Um, arguably, well, it might be, it's one of the two m most popular big pens that we have on our list, I think. But uh, I'll let Brian take over the rest. Yeah, I'm just looking up on the site. I'm like, how uh, how heavy is that uh, <laughs> flame? Let's see here. It's it's uh, it is weighty. Sixty nine grams. That's pretty heavy. That's pretty heavy. That's on the heavier end of any of the pens that we have. That that translate to ninety four pounds. Um, no, two point four yeah, if you, three if you tra ounces. Two point four, which three. is ninety four. Pounds. It translates to 90, mm. 95 mm. hundred thousand stone. Uh, no. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I go. Oh, gosh, I've got multi-tab syndrome going on here. Where are my notes? Here we go. Uh oh. Um, also, just realized my computer is totally not plugged in, so I'm gonna have to run over and. <laughs> oh, next question that you're answering, I'm gonna have to run over and grab my power cord. I'm okay. I'm at 36 percent, but. I'm not okay. I just ran not. out of hot beverages. May not. Uh oh. We just got to end this. You have to go to the bathroom and then refill your coffee. No, I just need. I need. I need drinks. <laughs> All right, my. Uh, I went ahead and picked three as well. You know, I'm definitely, I think Drew's, Drew's list is good here. Very solid. Um, I wanted to go with one that wasn't so expensive because basically all the rest of them that we're talking about are pretty expensive. Um, the Jin Hao 159, that thing is very large. It looks pretty big. Good call. But then when you hold it in your hand, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, this is a pretty big pen. Uh, it's, it's very large, like the grip diameter is very large the whole pen itself is big and it's just it's a heavy pen too so mm -hmm. you know if you like big pens that are not super expensive uh jinhao 159 might be up your alley um and then one that you might say that 159 could be semi-inspired from is the um, sailor king of pens that i do like that it's just very classic style me personally having very large hands that pen to me fits into my hand like I imagine most normal pens fit into most normal people's hands. So to me, it feels very natural, which is why I like it so much, but it's also just a big, it's a, it's a big pen for most people, but it's not super heavy. That is what I really like about it. So, you know, the 159, it's a big pen, but it kind of tires your hand out after a little while. Not so with the King of Pens. Um, they're all just pretty expensive though. That's the down, downside of all the King of Pens. Um, as is anything in that size range, especially in the gold nib, you know, you get into the Yukari Royales and you get into the Sailor M1000s and stuff like that. You know, your Mont Blanc 149s. Pelican. Pelican, yeah, yeah, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be up there in price. Um, and then, 
since we're pushing the price barrier, I'll go with the Pilot Custom Yurushi. So there's a lot of Yurushi pens. There's a lot of pens with custom in the name, but the one that's literally called Pilot Custom Yurushi, that's the honker that I'm talking about. It's it's basically the biggest Pilot pen that you can get. Um, pilot. Yeah, Pilot. So it sort of crosses over. So Pilot and Namiki, same parent company. Namiki tends to be their higher end stuff, their Yurushi stuff, but they do have a couple of pens that are Yurushi lacquered in Pilot's line. So that gets a little bit confusing, but this kind of bridges the gap there. So it's definitely in that high end, like Namiki range. Um, you're in the like mid thousand, you know, 14, 1500, somewhere around there for this pen. It is Yurushi lacquer, but the pen itself is just, huge i mean large pen big nib big grip um but boy does that pen write incredibly. and that vermilion though oh the vermilion oh, yes just stop it just stop I, it i know right it's, it's got that it's a sharp mm. it's a sharp looking pen and it writes so, so well is. so yeah also flat top points for being a flat top flat top too yeah i do not mm. have one of these either i i need to i don't know hashtag pen goals but there you go